Okay, everybody, 2011 Nissan Sentra replacing the serpentine belt. All the videos online are telling you to do it the wrong way. If you don't have to replace the belt tensioner, which is right there, and we're just replacing the serpentine belt, this is how we do it. I've already taken, taken off the old one where it exploded. So anyways, the next one, we're gonna put this on here and we wrap it around the bottom on the front and then the bottom on the back. I'll come over here and I'll show you. Yeah. So you take off the inside panel on the back side, that inside panel right there, right there. Take off the top panel so that you can get access back here. Okay. You will see on the side of the belt tensioner where my wrench is stuck, it's a 14 millimeter wrench. You get that, put a 14 millimeter wrench on there, and then you just push it back to the back of the engine and make sure that the belt is wrapped around there all the way around there and all the way around that one right there then you put that 14 millimeter bolt on there and then you'll just have someone push it to the back of the engine and when you do that then it'll release the tension and you can put it on the top yeah okay so he's down there pushing on it releasing the tension and then we can start to walk it over and I'm going to probably have to turn the video off because it's a little bit hard to do this with one hand so I'm gonna turn off the video but I'll get it back on and I'll show you in a second. all right so I twisted it and got it that far so I'm just gonna keep trying to twist it little by little until we get it on all the rest of the way there we go. There we go. And it's all the way on. And then he will release. Okay, suelta. There we are. And we are on on the front. So you do the top side, not the bottoms like they're showing you on the video. Top side. It makes it so much easier. And then we have it good down there. Good on the other pulleys. And good on the back. Perfect.